Uh, thanks. Okay, that means there's something behind there that I should probably be worried about. And also, I have a claw for this. Come here. Let's see. Wolf. Eagle. Wolf. Or hawk, I suppose. Okay. I'll do it. All right, let's see what's up here, shall we? Oh boy. Oh no, you're kidding me. <sighs> you, sir, had best be glad that I am what I am. Olaf, it is time. You're not Olaf, are you? No, that was you talking. Oh boy. Thank you. about him. What's dead? And a ghost. Probably won't be dying again anytime soon. Uh, I can't already be winded. Ah, uh, just be careful. Alright. Whoa, thanks. Wait, we're gonna fight, Olaf? Is that what you're- Oh boy. Ah. Alright. Come at me, Nords. There's two of us. Okay, you distract him. We did it! We did it! We did it! Okay. <sighs> we good now? No more fighting big beastie guys? Rest easy, friend. Thanks for the help. Oh, man. I really wish that wasn't such a massive sword. Otherwise, I'd definitely take it. Okay, you can stop shouting at me now. Oh, wait. I know that one. Kind of. It's... It's, uh... It's this one. No. No, it de- it should have been.
But it's part of that same shout. You know what? I'm taking it. Even though I'm not really sure what I'd be able to do with it. I'll just wear it on my back for now. <laughs> well, it looks pretty cool. Whoa! Uh. Ah, it's a little bit unwieldy, though. I'll just carry it for now. Thank the divines for keys. Ooh. Ugh. That's... delightful. Now I can get out of this place. I think I'm going to have to go back to solitude, I just realized. So I guess maybe the smart way to go would be to take a carriage back to Whiterun from there. I don't... I don't really feel like running that whole way. Not after going up to Morthal and getting chased by ice trolls. Okay, and it's raining. Well, I don't really want to sleep. I don't really want to sleep in the creepy thing. Ah, uh, right. I don't have a bedroll. Or a tent. Well, I guess I'm traveling through the night then, aren't I? Lovely. Ah, there's no way he's still up. Which means I'm gonna... Guess. Uh... I feel so bad for you. What do you need? I need a bed. Okay, new plan. Talk to the bard in the morning. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. I will. Me too. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. If you need a good rumor, welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Can I? Again? Uh, can I rent a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yes. Hmm? You'd think they'd get sick of that song eventually. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. She's really good, actually. For the darkness has passed, and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. Hey. You, uh... Traitors, civil wars, dragons. Huh. Those troubles don't cross my doorway. So sit, relax. You don't happen to know where I could sell off this big honking sword, do you? Well, as it turns out, what? I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used That's to wing. not need anything, you just say the word. I'm just way too tired for this. Never mind. <clears throat> hmm? Uh-huh. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. I'm just gonna fall into the bed if that's okay. That was a long trip. Node to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Uh, okay. We drink to our youth, to the days ah, and hello. Gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. Alright, I should probably we'll eat something. 
I completely forgot about that. Okay. And restore what we own. With our blood now I'll go talk to the bard. We will take back our home. Good Ooh. morning. Ah, excuse me. <sighs> Pardon. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, hi. Huh? Excuse me. What do you need? That's got to be the worst designed in, in Tamriel. The entirety of Tamriel. Like I didn't even understand the. Uh, I've got a yeah. If you're interested. Oh, uh, what was it? Down by the border. Do you need something? She's not from around here. Or maybe she is. I I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell Nord accents apart. Okay. Okay. It feels very. What? Oh, there he is. Hi. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? I found King Olaf's verse. I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. <laughs> now, let's take a look at this. This seems to be a theme in my life. Oh. oh, no. This won't do at all. Uh... The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. Yeah, I notice we don't use as much alliteration anymore. But does that mean we can't use it, or...? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening! Can't we just, you know, be Bards and make up the missing parts of the verse? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. Well, I mean... I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Okay, well, you're a bard, and, uh, I'm an adventurer. I think between the two of us we can come up with something. What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Well, I mean... Mmm... I'm not sure how you could get a dragon into Dragon's Reach without actually, like, making a deal with them. Which would require him to be able to speak the dragon tongue, but... That's already part of the legend, isn't it? Hmm. Well, Olaf did become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. And I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Uh, I... Hmm. I want... Hmm... Maybe he used 
disguised troops? I, I'm not sure if anything else makes sense, really. <laughs> and they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, is that it, or is there more? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Okay. I can do that. I'll meet you there. I should probably not bring the big sword. Huh. Maybe it'll add to my bardic mystique if that's a- If that's a thing. <laughs> he was listening to me. Okay. Yes? Um... I probably shouldn't wear armor into the Blue Palace, huh? Yeah, given that reaction. I found the I okay. Let's go pay a visit to Radiant Raymond? Was that what it was? Oh boy, I don't really want to spend money on a dress or something, but... Needs must. 